Hi guys. I'm going to show you that, how to compute variables from Likert scale data. In order to conduct an analysis using SPSS, you should have knowledge on, the types of variables, types of scales and other important statistical concepts that required for conducting research. So, in this video, I'm going to explain computing variables trough SPSS module for the ones who having intermediate knowledge on researching. So moving on to the context, I have selected example of Likert scale survey results, which aim to identify the factors affecting the production performance of a manufacturing firms. In here, for independent variables of technology, managerial style, employee engagement and skills, as well as production process has been surveyed through multiple questions, which are highlighted with green, brown, blue and yellow. Reds are the questions relating the depending variable. In addition, demographic questions such as gender, age and experience level also included in here. Then, in order enter these data into the SPSS module, it should needs to convert these data into numerical values. For instance, 5-point Likert scale responses are needs to value from 1 to 5 levels where 1 stands for strongly disagree and 5 stands for strongly agree. In here, gender also converted as, 1 for male and 2 for female. After that, copy your data with headers and paste them with headers name into the data view of new SPSS data sheet. Once you entered your data, go into the variable view. There you can find the variable data for each question has been generated automatically. Then select gender, type is numeric, labels has been automatically generated. Go to values and enter 1 and enter label as male, and click add, then value 2 for female and do the same, in my results there is no missing values, if any please include in here. Then measure is nominal scale, as no ordinal measure is not represented. Then moving on to the age, type is numeric, no values, as discrete measure used, select scale measure. When it comes experience level, it is explanation that doesn't represent numerical value. Therefore, select type as string, and measure is nominal. Then moving on to the Likert scale questions, take availability of advanced machinery, which is first question of technology variable, type is numeric, go to values. In here at values. For value 1, label is strongly disagree. For value 2, add disagree. Value 3 is neutral. Value 4 for agree. And value 5 for strongly agree. Then the measure is ordinal for Likert scale. Similarly all the other questions also Likert scale, I can repeat the process or simply copy paste these values and the measure. Here you can switch between numerical and representative views. So, in order to perform analysis such as correlation, regression, descriptive statistics and so on you should needs to compute variables from these questions. For instance, there is three questions regarding the technology variable. Thus from those three questions one variable needs to be computed. You may know that, Likert scale is mostly used in social science researches such as management, marketing or logistics, the most researches are compute variables based on the mean. So I'm gonna show you how to compute these variables based on mean. First, go to transform, compute variables, I'm going to name target variable as TCH. Then function group, select all. Under that scroll and select mean. Then our questions relating variable technology needs to be added. Remember, placing comma between is important. Otherwise the operation won't be success. Then select OK and you can see a new variable has been created in data view. Similarly, you can compute variables for other independent and dependent variables too. Once you completed, you can go to variable view, enter the labels for each variable. In here I enter technology. Management style. Employee engagement. Production process. An independent variable of efficiency of production. 
So guys, that is the simple process of computing variables for Likert scale analysis in SPSS, after that you can proceed that required analytical operations such as regression and etc. which I'm going to explain in my future videos. Thank you for watching. And please like and subscribe my channel.